Oh, what a fight. This is a war. Great atmosphere here tonight, especially with this attack. Tony Medquay. Oh, he's all over it. It's all present. Best training in the game. I've seen a lot of fighters come and go. I've seen a lot of fighters come and you make something of them. If he tell you to do it, he can do it. Someone that works just as hard as me. I've seen a lot of people out there, I've seen a lot of trainers out there, but the only one that uh, stands out is uh, Tommy Ann Keller, man. It's a big salute, man. Today's video, we're gonna give you a way to use your lead hand. Whether you're a southpaw, whether you're an orthodox fighter, using that jab and using the lead hand in itself. It doesn't always gotta be a jab, but to show you how to use it and really move it around to create an opening. Different ways that you can be creative. It's all about being creative. We're gonna give you a little simple way here today, okay? Greatness is in simple things as well, okay? It's in details, but it's also simple but great. Okay, so what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna, we're gonna start off with a jab, okay? Now, off of that jab, he's gonna throw his what I call the coffee mug jab. And if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. I have a video on the coffee mug jab. He's gonna throw his jab and he's gonna throw his, and then his next jab, he's gonna be like he, he's holding a coffee mug and he's throwing, basically throwing coffee or whatever. If you had a mug and you're throwing water on somebody, you're throwing coffee on somebody, okay? So when he's bringing his fist up at this angle and at the last second he's turning his hand in so he's gonna land with the knuckles though. He's not gonna come up and land with his thumb. He's gonna, when he rotates that, he's gonna just rotate it up. When he's coming here, he's gonna rotate it up and he's gonna hit with these knuckles. He's hitting with still with the two big knuckles. That's what he's doing, right, okay? Then off of that, what Xavier's gonna do is he's going to turn the jab back over without bringing it back. So he's getting the, guy, he's getting the guy's attention coming up. So if he's fighting me as a, right, as a right hander, he could throw that jab between the gloves, okay? He could also, he could throw it, he could throw it between the gloves. If I was throwing a jab, he could throw that jab underneath my jab, okay? But that's for a different day, okay? But right now we're talking about it. He could throw think, something if a guy has a guard, right? He's gonna, if a guy has his guard up, he could throw it through the guard, okay? Then instead of bringing it back, once he gets the guy to raise up, he'll turn that jab right back over, Okay, put that in his face. Now, when he, when he puts it back in his face, now those two reactions right there, this one and this one, brings my guard to the inside, tight. So what happens is that creates a hook. So he'll take his hand and then he'll throw a push hook, which brings my hand back to the outside, and then he's gonna create that left hand right down the middle. So he's moving that, this hand and really getting me to be all over the place with my defense. Okay, so he can create an opening for his left hand and then come back with his right hook. Okay, so he's going to throw between my guard. So he's throwing a jab. Then he's throwing the coffee mug jab. Then he's turning it back into a jab. Then he's push hooking left hand. Okay, so it's looking like this on the pads. So he's going one, two, three, four, five, six. Six punches, just like that. Ready? Jab, boom, 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 boom. That's it. Jab, jab, hook, that's it. So he's going jab, coffee mug jab, boom, 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 push hook, right. So we'll go real slow, it's jab, coffee mug jab, don't, don't bring it back. It can extend it right off the coffee mug jab, okay? So you're going jab, coffee mug jab, that's it, like that. Ready? Go slow, coffee mug, jab, push hook, right hand, that's it, push hook. Left hand, right hook, okay? Back it up. Goes real slow, we're going jab, coffee mug jab, extended jab, that's it. See, when you throw the coffee mug jab, you just turn it right back into a jab, that's it, then a push hook, then a left hand, right hook, that's it. So let's go a little quicker now, okay? So we're going boom, 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 there we go. That's it, extend your shots a little more. That's it. 
That's it. Back it up. Start getting in the rhythm now. Get in your rhythm. Pow, 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 pow. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. That was beautiful. Just put it right out there. Extend it. That's it. That's it. Put it in spots like that. Beautiful. Got two real good ones for me? Give me two good ones. Scissor them hands. Ready? Loading, he's, he's, what are you, what are you doing? Loading up the, oh, legs are sleeping. Load, loading up the, you're firing up the wheels. Okay, let's go, you ready? There you go. Nice. That's a show him this angle. Another angle right here, like that. Beautiful, guard in the pocket. That's it. Now, as you notice, when he throws that, when he throws the coffee mug jab, he's gonna dip his shoulder a little bit. Okay, so when he jabs, then he's gonna dip a little bit that way. Then he's gonna turn it back over, push hook, left hand, right hook. That's it. Do that. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. Two more times, real good. That's it. That's it, very good. So that's a, that's a great little thing to be able to learn how to do with your lead hand is to really, and I'm gonna come out with some more of these and just keep giving you guys ideas and uh, you know, ways to be able to create openings with your lead hand. It's all about moving that jab around, getting your opponent to really, I mean, the jab in the lead hand is the greatest thing that a boxer can create and, and, and develop. You know, that's the greatest thing that you could develop is a, is a great jab and a great lead hand offensively and defensively. So many things you can do defensively with that lead hand. So make sure you guys go into the gym, keep on trying to develop that lead hand. So important. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Keller Boxing. Follow Xavier Campbell at Zay Campbell 09. And also go to the website worldclassboxinggym.com. Get on the email list. Uh, get those instructional videos that I have on the website. They're great foundational things to really that you need to be able to put all these other things together. You need the foundation. And I put two beautiful videos out there that have a, it's a lot of great detail in there to develop a great foundation. So make sure you guys go get those. And also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, keep on sharing the videos, please, because you know that helps me continue to bring you these videos. And it also, when you guys subscribe, it's just kids fueling me to be able to continue this and, and push myself okay so make sure you guys do that and i'll see you guys next time